Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Boone from Premium Beat. Today I want to talk to you about the rulers and guides inside of the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now this is a feature that Premiere has needed for the longest time. It's very much overdue and they did a really good job with this. So I'm going to take you into the program. I'm going to show you how to create some custom overlay setups that are going to be really useful when you're editing video for a variety of different social media platforms. So let's get started. All right, so here I have a 16 by nine clip and let's say I wanna export this out in the square aspect ratio because that's a very popular aspect ratio right now. You can really put it on any social media platform and it works. So I wanna be able to edit in the 16 by nine environment and position my content perfectly so that nothing gets cropped out. So I can do this using custom guides. Now let's take a step-by-step -step look at how we can create these. First, I need to turn them on so I can see them. So I'm gonna select my program monitor, then I'm gonna to go to the view menu and now in the latest version of Premiere Pro 2019, you have a few different options here. You have show rulers and show guides. Now I could click these here, but there's also buttons down here in the program monitor. I just need to add them. So I'm gonna go over to the button editor and over here, there are two new buttons. You can see show rulers and show guides. So I'm gonna click and drag these. I'm gonna add them here and I'm gonna click okay. And now if I click these, now there are my rulers and I'll be able to see my guides as well. Now there's a few different ways I can add a guide. I can go to view, add guide. I can simply click and drag and add a guide. Or I can right click on a ruler and select add guide. Now the beauty of these is that you can be really, really precise with them. You can put in a pixel value, you can put in a percent value, you can specify exactly where you want it. Now I'm gonna want two guides to show me each edge of my square. And there's a couple of different ways I can figure this out, like specifically where to put these guides, but I'm gonna do a basic math problem. So the resolution here is 1920 by 1080, basically meaning that the width of this is measured at 1920 pixels and the height is 1080 pixels. So when I'm exporting this as a square, I'm simply gonna be cropping these edges off and I'm gonna do 1080 by 1080 pixels. So the edges are, are gonna be cut off. So to figure out how many pixels are gonna be cut off, I'm simply gonna take 1,920 pixels and subtract the 1,080 pixels. That's gonna leave me with 840 pixels. Then I simply divide that by two and I know the distances between my edges here, which is 420 pixels. Still with me? So now that I've got that measurement, I'll just go to add guide and now I can change my percent to pixels and then I'm gonna type in 420. My first one will go from the left. Make sure it's set to vertical, click OK. And then I'm gonna add another guide and this one will go from the right, change it to pixels and set it to 420. And again, make sure that that orientation is vertical and now we have a perfect square. So let's say we also wanna add some guides that help show us the center and the upper and lower third area. So to do that, I'm gonna quickly add another guide. First we'll do the center. So for center, we can just do percent and then we can say 50%. And we actually want that to be, well, we'll do vertical and horizontal. There's our first one. We want this one to be horizontal. And now we'll add the upper and lower third. So we can add guide and let's just say percent, uh, 33% from the bottom, and then we'll add another one, 33% from the top. And there we go, now we have our thirds, our center, and then our outer edges. Now I'm ready to use these guides to perfectly position my elements. But first, I don't wanna accidentally move these guides, so I'm gonna go to View, Lock Guides. And now I can accidentally grab these and move them. Now I can double click and I can move this around and make sure that it's positioned perfectly. But let's say I want it to snap to the guide. So I can go over to view and it's right here, snap in program monitor. And this will not only snap to the guides, but it's also gonna snap to the edges of your program monitor and also the center. So theoretically, I didn't have to put these overlay guides in the center because it was for snapping purposes, but I still like it for, uh, for visual purposes. So there we go. I can move that right there. You can see it snaps there. Let's take a look at that. Now I can quickly toggle these off and back on. Now let's say I want to add a text element. I'm going to grab my text tool then I'll just type in January. And now you're going to see that this snaps 
can put it exactly where I want it. So I want it right at the lower third here, and I'll move this here. For the last step, I'm gonna save these out as a template so I can use them later. So I'm gonna go to View, and there's a Guide Templates section here, and you can see there's already a couple. I'm gonna go ahead and click this, Save Guides as Template, and we'll call it uh, Square, okay. And now the really cool thing is if I go back to Guide Templates and I do Manage Guides, I have a couple of different ones here, but if I select Square, I can actually export it as a guide file, and then I could share that with someone else, and then they could import it into Premiere and use it. So if we wanted to position, you know, if I'm working on a team and we want to position things perfectly, such as branding elements, this can be super useful. Okay, now to really test this out and see if it's working, I'm gonna to go to the Export Settings dialog box, and I'm gonna go ahead and manually change my resolution here because it's set to match source right now, which is this 16 by nine setup. So if I go here and I switch it to 1080 by 1080, okay, it's set to square now, but it's still not looking good. That's because we need to scale to fill. So once we hit that, now we have our perfect square. You can see this is exactly where we had it with the overlays and our graphic was perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and export this. There we go, perfect. All right, so there you have it. Those are the rulers and guides for latest version of Premiere Pro 2019. Let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm thinking right now, how did I function before this feature? I don't even know how I perfectly positioned my assets. So once again, this is long overdue. Super happy to see it. So if you like the tutorial, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe to the Premium Beat YouTube channel. We put out new tutorials all the time. And for all your musical needs, head over to premiumbeat.com.